Grosso and Jessica Andrade. All right, here we go. Well, she's able to connect on the punch there, DC, really making good use of her reach advantage. Great punch landing, so much power. One, two punch by Grosso. Changes her stance. Well, you had a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Grosso. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Andrade gets caught with that punch. Oh, look at that combination of punches to the head and the clinch. The openings are small. She is certainly barged right through. Yeah, she's finding every little opening. She slides right in. Andrade is looking for an arm bar here. Attack an arm bar. There it is. It's in there deep. There you go. And there is the tap. Wow! What a performance! Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters, and that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Jessica Batista and Tom. Well, how about this young woman as the celebration is on? She